All right, so I'm going to show you how to fix, hopefully fix the cabbage error for Destiny 2 that's based on having a Technicolor or Thompson router. We're using this guy Cosmo's forum post here, and I'm going to, I've turned it into a text file, which should show you how to unbind the ports and hopefully fix the error. Um, you're going to need the username and password for your router, which usually is admin and password. My, I changed mine. If you can't figure out what your user is, there should be guides online, or you can call or email the manufacturer, see if that works. So the first step to fixing this is to go and turn on Telnet. So type in Telnet, turn Windows features on or off. It should come up here. You scroll down to Telnet client, click app, turn it, click it, check it, press OK. Windows should turn it on, and you've got so you now can access your router from your command thing. So you go next is find a default gateway using ipconfig, which is a command in the command prompt. So type in cmd in the search bar, get up command prompt, type in ipconfig. There's all your router stuff. What we're using here is the default gateway. What you're going to type in is telnet, then your default gateway. Do not use your um, IPv4, it doesn't work. I've tried it. 254, connect. You're going to put in your username and password, which should be admin and password, hopefully. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Next, you're going to type in connection bind list. And here you see all the uh, connections and stuff. This is the one we're looking for. It might not look like this, it might have something like this, where it's got a uh, dash and it should have something else. If it does look like that, it doesn't really change much. So now the command we're going to be using is this one, connection and bind application code UPD. So you type it in, you can't copy and paste. But you can backspace application equals current UDP, don't you do UPD, can confuse you, 3074. Now here is where if you had the dash, you'd add the dash and then whatever, because you can't just unbind the port and have like, change it to 3075, you have to unbind all of them, anything that's connected to 3074. But if yours looks like this, then that's, that's good. Press enter. You can press up twice to check if it has been. And yeah, it's not there anymore. Next you type save all. Should all be done. I'll leave uh, the, this. I'll, I'll hopefully put it in text file and put it online so you guys can use it. And I'll put a link to this if you want to see the original form post. Thanks to Cosmo. Cheers, dude.